I will tell you about teaching in Indonesia because many people ask me how do they get this job, what to do to get this job and so on. So I decided to make a video and to tell you everything, step by step. What should you do to go to teach in Indonesia? So let's start. Preparations. Let's start from the beginning. What you should do first? I went with the ISIC organization, so you should go to the website isic.org. I will add the link uh, below and uh, search for opportunities yourself. You should remember that it's your job to find the opportunity. Uh, though, uh, plan B is to find a representative in your city and ask them to help you. But you should remember that they will not always be that helpful. After you find the job, there is going to be an interview by Skype. So you will speak English and you will tell, you will ask their questions and you will tell something about yourself. And after that, if they like you, you will get this job. And after that, you should do only two things. First, sign an agreement, pay a small fee, which is about $300. And the second is uh, to get the visa. But usually the ISAC also helps you with that. So now you have the job and you can go to Indonesia. The second thing, school and house family. Let's uh, talk about school first. So it's like a lottery with school you're going to get. Because when I was in Indonesia, my school was really good. It was a green school. In Indonesia there are many green schools for children who are from good families because there are many facilities in this school with everything you need and also it's very green so there are many trees there many birds so it's just great to be there it's like you're in the park also it was a building with school and kids were speaking English uh, they were from 6 to 10 but they were already speaking so it's much easier to teach when kids can understand you also the salary. The salary was about $200. You may think that it's nothing, but in uh, Jakarta that was enough. Because uh, I had free accommodation and free food. And that's why $200 was enough. It's like $50 per week. For this money you can go out, you can go to the cinema, you can buy some fruit, juices for yourself and so on. House family. I was lucky again with my host family. I'm sure that all host families are very friendly because they chose to be you, their guest. But the conditions can be different. I was living in a beautiful house. Uh, there was a pool there, the gym there. There were two floors, and there was there were people who were cooking every day for me. But you can be not so lucky. For example, I am in Ecuador right now. Also with Isaac and one of my friends, he just went to meet his close family and turned out that his house doesn't have any windows and doors. I'm not kidding right now. Of course they fixed this problem, but just, uh, just be prepared that some houses are very humble. So it's, it's really a lottery. And finally, I will tell you about Indonesia. Why did I choose this country? I was always, the, I always admire this country because the nature is so beautiful there. So if you go there, you will see all these mountains, all these waterfalls, caves, and beaches, which is just of amazing beauty. I can call it otherworldly beauty. And this was, this was uh, what attracted me. So the nature is uh, a great advantage of Indonesia. What else? Uh, uh, the prices. Everything is cheap. For example, you should pay about one dollar to get a meal, also about one dollar to get some coffee. If you want to travel somewhere around Indonesia, the plane ticket will be about twenty-five dollars. For example, from Jakarta to Bali. So for your salary, even you can afford to travel, especially to nearby places. By the way, I advise you to go to Karimunjawa if you are in Jakarta. It's very close. And it's not so expensive to get there and it's place for me it looks much more of a paradise than Bali so you will enjoy it uh, a few more things you should know before going to Indonesia uh, it is the biggest uh, Muslim country in the world so practically all people in my city were Muslims you should cover yourself when you go to school you should respect their religion uh, when I was at school the kids were praying five times a day and alcohol is also illegal in this country, so don't expect any wild bodies there. 
but uh, there is one street, tourist street, when you can buy some beer, you can meet some friends there, so you can find some alcohol if you really want it. And uh, also, be prepared that sometimes there is only one foreign teacher in the whole city, I mean from Isaac. When I was there, I was the only one. That's why for the first month I struggled a little bit to make friends, literally. And what did I do? I went out to this tourist street of bars. The first time I wasn't lucky, but for the second time I was lucky and I made some friends. Yeah. And the last part I will tell you about is uh, traveling. So as I've said you before, by your salary you can afford to travel a little bit. But be prepared that the conditions can be different from your country. For example, once you decided to go to the Brahma mountain, a volcano, and we had to travel 16 hours in a bus. In a bus with no AC and it was so tiny, tiny, and uh, there was nothing to do, so we decided to play cards, like Russian cards. I taught Germans, French people to play this game. And then there was some guy just behind us on the car, and he just put a gun out of the window. And they, they were like, what? Started to scream, hide it, and so on. Yeah, that was a journey. But then everything was, everything was fine. This guy disappeared. Yeah, that was one, one adventure that, that I remember. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it was useful for you. And now you will uh, have some courage to do the same, and to go to the unknown country, which can be Muslim, or Hindu, or Christian, or wherever, and just experience some new world. Please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about teaching and living abroad, because right now I'm in South America and I'm doing the same. And just put like if you like it, and if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And now I have to go to meet my friends, so bye, see you soon! Matroshka, padushka, sholki posh, jolki, jolki polski, troshka, praska, ruska, praska, rushia!